It is a gray, rainy day here in Vancouver. But we're gonna get tropical here inside the Bloedel Conservatory. Let's go explore. Located at Queen Elizabeth Park and perched 500 feet above sea level, the Bloedel Conservatory sits at the highest point of Vancouver. Originally a rock quarry and then later a reservoir, the site took on new life when this triodetic dome conservatory opened in 1969 thanks to a substantial donation from forestry executive and philanthropist Prentice Blodell. The conservatory is the largest single structure conservatory in Canada, displaying a collection of exotic plant species and helping to foster a better appreciation and understanding of the world of plants. The dome structure is 140 feet in diameter and stands 70 feet tall and is made up of over 1400 plexiglass bubbles. But housed inside are three different tropical ecosystems, the tropical rainforest, a subtropical rainforest, and desert ecosystem, each with distinct species of plant life. In total, over 500 exotic plants and flowers thrive within this temperature-controlled environment. The dome also acts as an aviary and is home to over a hundred exotic birds. Some of the colorful characters you'll meet include Art, the blue and gold macaw, who was born in 1977 and whose species originates in tropical South America. There's also Chico and Pedra, who are a double yellow-headed Amazon parrots. Native to North Central America and Mexico, these guys are quite a bit younger and were just born in 2015. There's also Mali, the sulfur-crested cockatoo, whose species originates in Australian New Guinea. Are you... You're Mali? Are you Mali? And Blanca the umbrella cockatoo, who calls Indonesia home. There's Maria and Carmen, a pair of green-winged macaw, who were born in the year 2000 and had come from North and Central South America. Gidget, the citron-crested cockatoo, who turns 30 this year, and Rudy, the African gray parrot. And in addition to some of the larger birds, you'll also see several species of finches, doves, canaries, and parakeet flying amongst the foliage. But perhaps the best known resident at the conservatory is a corpse flower lovingly named Uncle Fester. Corpse flowers only bloom rarely in the wild, about once every 10 years, and grow to a height of about 2 meters tall before blooming to emit the smell of rotting flesh. This species is extremely rare and endangered and is native to the Sumatran region of Indonesia, and there's only about a thousand known plants left in the wild. Through proper care and attention, the conservatory was able to enjoy Fester's bloom twice, once in 2018 and again in 2021. Unfortunately, in 2009, the Vancouver Parks Board voted to close the conservatory due to a lack of attendance and the high cost of impending repairs. However, a public outcry and a subsequent fundraising campaign helped change their minds, and in 2014, work on the much-needed repairs finally proceeded. With the installation of 1,400 new plexiglass panels to cover the dome, And with the building now designated as a heritage site, the Bloedel Conservatory is sure to be around for future generations to enjoy.
Thanks for joining us at the Bloedel Conservatory. Hope you enjoyed the flora and the fauna. Remember to keep exploring. Until next time.